India is all set to launch its next big moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, by July this year. The Chandrayaan-3 will be spearheaded by the Indian Space Research Organization to reach the dark side of the moon. It is expected to take off in July by the launch vehicle Mark 3 or LVM 3 from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The lesson is simple. Lesson is very simple. Learn from the past. Do what is possible with your capacity at this moment. That's all. Failures may happen. Even now, this could have failed. You know, a rocket launches like that. That there are thousands of reasons that it can fail. And if it is, uh, if you are, if there is a uh, system like that. Fine, but we have to do what is needed to be done so that we don't regret later. That's all. Every time we implement various committees, recommendations happen, we do implement. But things can go wrong. It is it is like that. This business is that possibility of a failure is always there. That's why we are tense. No, otherwise you could have fire and forget. <laughs> that we already answered. Now we'll go to some. That's all. Chandrayaan they will be launched in July. I'm very confident. Chandrayaan 3 is Israel's third mission with the primary objective of putting a lander and rover in the highlands near the South Pole of the Moon. This will demonstrate India's capability of an end-to-end -end landing and roving capabilities on the Moon. CH3's pro-population module has spectropolymetry of habitable planet Earth payload which will study the spectral and polymetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. Its pro-population module will carry the lander and will have a rover configuration till 100 km of the lunar orbit. There are three objectives of the mission. To demonstrate safe and soft landing on lunar surface, to demonstrate rover roving on the moon, to conduct in situ scientific experiments. Chandrayaan 3 is a follow up mission of the much anticipated Chandrayaan 2. It is undoubtedly built with an advanced and sophisticated version of the Chandrayaan 2 rover. But most importantly, it will carry the expectations of the entire nation as its predecessor, the Chandrayaan 2, failed during the final process of its landing. The lander and rover component of the CH2 mission malfunctioned in its final moments before the touchdown and crash landed, much to everyone's disappointment. So, how different is Chandrayaan 3 from Chandrayaan 2? Chandrayaan 2's mission was India's history in making. It was India's first attempt to make a soft landing of a rover on the uncharted south pole of the lunar surface. It was a failed moon mission. But, it has been rendering valuable information for the space community. The entire mission of Chandrayaan-2 was actually not a waste. The orbiter part of the CH2 has been functioning normally, and in the two years since that setback, the various instruments on board have gathered new information that has enriched our knowledge about the Moon and its environment. The lander for Chandrayaan-3 will have only four throttleable engines, unlike Vikram on Chandrayaan-2, which had five 800 Newton engines, with the fifth one being centrally mounted with a fixed thrust. Additionally, the Chandrayaan-3 lander will be equipped with laser Doppler velocimeter. The mission objective of Chandrayaan-3, as mentioned on the ISRO official website, is to have a safe and soft landing on the Moon, followed by a rover to conduct the in-situ experiments on the Moon. According to ISRO chief S. Somnath, a lot of work is being done to achieve that, including building new instruments, building better algorithms and taking care of the failure models. Chandrayaan-3, if successful, will make India the fourth country to soft land a spacecraft on the moon after the United States, USSR and China. <laughs>